Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to explain how to make a complex uh, a complex window uh, based on what we have learned from the uh, previous video series about making windows. Uh, here I'm going to make a, a complex window. It's not really that much of a complex window but it's depend or it's actually it's actually contain uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, two sliding, uh, two side hinged uh, window and one awning, and uh, that's what I'm going to intend to do. So uh, this part will be awning, those two will be uh, uh, side hinge, while those three uh, is going to be uh, you know uh, fixed panel. So what I will do, I'm going to start from the previous uh, previous uh, window, which is the double hinge, uh, uh, double hinge sided, uh, double hinge sorry sided windows. I'm going to just uh, give it a name or save it as and I'm going to go to the plan view and removing one of those now what I really need is uh, first to increase the uh, overall width it's not going to be 1000 of course so I'm going to go and make this 2000 that's the first step any number you choose is okay at least to just provide enough space for you to work uh, now uh, this dude have to be smaller indeed but before I really need to create new reference plane here exactly and this guy have you know to be like a mullion inside uh, you know uh, it's a new mullion inside the, 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 the bigger frame and that should goes on both sides of the window and again you need to give the dimension from the new one to the old one and now we really need to define that as the new depth for the operable window Notice that in the previous steps that the operable width has been driven by a formula That's why it's here. It's locked and it's grayed out. So the first thing to do is to get rid of this formula For now Allowing me and then the user and hit enter of course that that will be a life number again To give any number you like and or he like to make that adjustable So let's say or let's assume it's 700 mil or 600 mil and hit apply now we see this guy is, is you know, uh, respond correctly and it's attached to the left side of it. It's worked perfectly okay. Now, I have to select this dude and go ahead and apply that parameter for it, which is the operable width here. As you can see, the same thing in this guy. I have to select the dimension and then apply the operable width to it, getting myself a beautiful changeable uh, dimension for the operable width for that part of the window. Now go back to create and create new to reference the plane and this time again from the new one to the old one select this dude and give the same as it here frame width which is the 30 mil do the, the same thing on the other side now I'm just defining uh, a borders for the new mullion that I have to create so let's go back to this guy in here and I think it's perfectly placed I'm gonna mirror that later on so don't worry about that now we really need to create this this guy in here so what we have to do is let me have a look at exterior first and this dude here and the height also shall change anyway so I'm gonna go again back to the reference plane go to extrude and you know pick uh, you can go pick and lock if you want i'm going to select this guy and lock itself immediately do the same thing on the left side and don't forget to hover a couple of times with the tab until you select the reference plane and create this rectangle defining the new edges for the mullion again might give you a warning message just you know, ignore it. That's been done. Hit finish and then go to the exterior elevation. And now we need to push that up here 
and then we push that here now the lower level that's really annoying because when I increase the width this dude is get you know smaller than it should be I'm just gonna increase that so when I select this I can just put the triangle and lock that in here now really I don't have you know the top part reference plane that gonna you know split the height into two pieces so again we need to go back to the reference plane creating two that's one and this guy uh, need another one of course as such so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go DI again from the new one to the old one so this should be the operable height and the operable height has been defined in here and fixed to this guy so whatever we did in the plan we have to do in the elevation I gotta go to the operable height and get rid of this formula and allow the user again to give this you know manually so I'm gonna make this like 1000 hit apply and see if this guy hit ok of course uh, should work perfectly it isn't it's actually snapped from the below and keep attached itself to the top part so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just you know realign it again as you can see it telling me that gonna you know, lose the constraint relationship to the top part okay just remove that constraint and just lock it again to the downside you know now it's it should be locked to the lower side and it should reflect the height of a 1000 I'm just gonna you know I think I'm gonna delete that so it doesn't get confusing let's select the dimension and get add to the operable height see now it's worked perfectly uh, probably we need to flex the default cell before you go ahead maybe like an 800 if I hit apply let's see it's jumping perfectly it's working really great now the height itself won't be enough for me so I'm gonna make it like a 1600 and instead of 1200 and giving us uh, more space above that operable part now I can select this guy lock it here okay those are the new mullions let's create the horizontal mullion now again di and this guy should be the same as those which is the frame width so we should control this like that beautiful and that's what really we need that's now let's flex the operable height and see if it's you know gonna work for both yeah that's what I want it's it's telling me that there is unsatisfied constraint I'm gonna remove that guy to see which one is you know losing it this dude is working perfectly but this guy is actually losing it and the reason it's, it's, it's claiming that's too much constraint to you know make them satisfied so what I'm going to do I'm gonna you know get the benefit of uh, having another option to go around that which is you have the extrusion end and the extrusion start that can give uh, you can actually give that as a straight direct information as it's if you select this you see it's telling you it's a, it's 1830 and that number came uh, straight from this point to the level in here beautiful so what really we need to do is to define uh, a new parameter that can give us this and it's really easy which is by accumulating uh, or uh, summing the default cell plus the thickness plus the operable height to get the exactly the new height that we want uh, gaining it back from the operable height again without attaching this dude to two or more than two or, or uh, you know more than the required or acceptable uh, reference plane and constraint that have to be connected to so now we connecting or depending on those faces instead of the relationship to the uh, reference plane that's a new method I think uh, so let's go here let's go uh, let's define something let's go to new parameter let's go upper Call it whatever you want, uh, upper mullion, I don't know, and then uh, go ahead, it's not even upper, I think it's the lower one here, but anyway, uh, we can change that anytime, so I'm going to get and say uh, it's a default cell height, again be careful of the spelling, spaces, everything, so we have to go again and add frame width to it 
and then add to it the operable height and then hit enter beautiful something wrong is here I don't know what is it it's, it's 1930 instead of 1800 and let's see uh, what is making that mistake okay it's uh, 11 okay that's right so select this guy it's not wrong just get this to have the upper mullion thing and it's gonna attach itself correctly to this guy this dimension is not needed anymore and you can see it's worked perfectly again again and again always flex don't trust whatever you see in the dynamo family and now you can see it's worked perfectly now we need to you know mirror that guy before we we continue so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna set this guy and just gonna you know copy it move it aside and then do whatever we did before so select a line oops beautiful now let's flex both uh, uh, starting with operable width let's make it uh, I don't know 500 maybe and see if it's uh, it's okay it is okay now to the exterior lots of things to flex still height probably 700 instead and yep that's one flying okay so do the same thing again beautiful now the operable height again I know it's boring but you have to do that and you can see it's move up as you can see it's worked perfectly so now all we need uh, to finish this the lower part is to do the glazing the fixed part of the glazing system so again straight it's an extrude uh, picking lines and lock at the same time so just uh, tab tab I don't know click that's one that's two that's three and that's four again trim I really need to buy a new mouse guys it's really making an ugly noise here uh, finish go exterior again and push that up and uh, we're gonna get a new warning message so I'm not gonna lock it just keep it here let me push that down pace on what we have seen with the mullions I'm not gonna fall on the same mistake I'm just gonna give it an upper mullion that I define and that's it okay now one last time I wish uh, to flex the operable height the glazing panel should follow beautiful give it a material you know what to give glass let's go to seat in 3d so far really so good nice now uh, back to the reference plane now we need to create uh, uh, what we call it I forgot now we need to create the mullion uh, actually above uh, that so I'm gonna create uh, extrusion I'm gonna go and have a pick and I'll make it full length like this and probably here and here I'm gonna trim that thing finish and then again the exterior part of it and we have this guy and we have this dude so the lower one again should be controlled by the upper mullion and I'm gonna try locking this manually let's see if it's gonna happy about changing for the 50,000 time the operable height and flexing it to process and yes it's working perfectly uh, everything is okay beautiful and lucky now that's it uh, I think now we need to copy this dude again sadly let's push it up and it doesn't accept uh, again I'm gonna select it uh, remove copy remove the constraint pushing it up beautiful now it's work let's push that down wait 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 there is a reference plane also where is it 
yeah, hiding, just push it out. So take this guy and I don't know, wait. Come on. It isn't accepting. Uh, okay, all right. It's controlled by a formula. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cancel that. I'm going to just do it again instead of this headache. It's just here and here. And again, it's uh, it's a full length, so it should be here and here. So trim. Oops. Ignore the warning messages telling you there is an overlap. And finish this guy. Let's see the exterior part of that. So we have two things. Uh, this guy, I will just lock it to this one. And this guy to this one. Sadly, I need to change that again. I know, too much. Yeah, beautiful. It's worked nicely. Now probably we need to change the operable width back. I don't know, maybe 600. And you can see everything is so nice. Beautiful. Now, we got this this part working and we got, I'm just gonna place one, uh, one here. Get back to reference the plane and getting this guy again, the poor guy, copy it. Uh, yep. And I'm gonna just uh, lock it here now this dude is actually following the same operable width that I have for this part so now that's mean I need to define the remaining which is this guy so I'm gonna go here uh, let me define new parameter let's call it operable width for the upper owning ah, try shorter names anyway so this guy is just basically the formula required. I just need to hit apply for now, get back a little bit, and see it's just uh, where is it? Here. It's just the overall width minus two times of the frame width, and then uh, what else? Uh, minus. Uh, two times of operable width and then minus again two time of the frame width that's just doesn't well, make sense to repeat it so I'm just gonna make minus four times of that let's hit enter it's giving you 680 I have no idea if it's working or not Let's just double check this guy again if I change the edit type. Remember, it's so probable, so it's going to affect those two things because those all of them are just brothers and they are the same type system. So, sadly, you know, to, to define a new operable, uh, just call it owning or upper owning, whatever you want to call it, call it. Uh, that's sad because you're going to lose all the previous constraints. So, again, for the width. This time we're gonna have the operable upper this one. Yeah, I don't know, too long to remember. And you see if I just move this guy a bit, it worked perfectly. And sadly, I need to change that. The operable width, the this one, and you know, okay. Okay, see that's just moved and those guys, guys just followed it correctly as you can see beautiful now Just make sure to make it sit in the elevation because it's now in here. We don't want that trust me just move it up and just uh, align to this guy and Then lock it and that drives us to know that we need to define again the same thing for the upper one and the upper one should be again uh, 
a probable height let's say for the awning it should be again driven by the overall height minus two times actually one here two three so three times of the frame width and then minus the operable height itself hit ok select this guy and edit and then you know the operable height just give it the operable height for the owning and hit ok and it should work perfectly uh, again don't trust operable height itself should be flexed a bit and you can see it's worked nicely now don't be happy because you you messed up when you define the new type this guy lost most of its properties so you have to select this dude go back here see all of them have equal 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 you define the operable width and the operable height now glazing from the beginning operable glass thickness uh, it's a glass thickness so do that okay Oh, probably glass thickness is a glass thickness. That's one. Beautiful. Now the second thing, do that. You know, uh, operable frame thickness. It's operable frame thickness. Good. Same naming. So just taking or inherting the properties quickly and operable. Whatever is the last one. The fourth one, operable thickness. Okay okay what is it I didn't click on it it's operable thickness okay same nice and neat naming operable thickness beautiful so those guys now if I flex the whatever it is the frame width or operable thickness should do the same thing if I go 40 and hit OK. It doesn't change. It should be changing in here. I think it's here, right? From here to here. Yeah, it's 40. Beautiful. Uh, what else? Uh, go back to exterior. It's really fine. Now we need two glazing panel here and here to finish the job almost. So I'm going to go create, extrude, and then the same thing. Uh, the same thing we got in here we have this dude and we have this guy and again we need this one and this one and sadly you need to click again everything that one ignore the warning messages finish back to exterior align as much as you can I did something bad and I don't know what is it no, I don't know. Just undo. Yeah, this dude should be here. Locked. This dude. What's going on? Okay, now this dude here. Don't use the sniper method. Just zoom in and lock. And uh, of course, you have to use the glazing glass material now if I go to 3d it should be great as you can see go back to exterior now I'm afraid to flex it guys anyway so the width let's say 1 8 beautiful everything did not explode yet which is really nice uh, operable height Okay, so it's worked perfectly. We're gonna get undo. So 
always be happy when you find mistakes because you can now you can fix it easily after that you're gonna forget what you've done and we're gonna be really embarrassed when you put this in a real life scenario now I'm gonna get rid of this equal equal because this guy is not in the middle of the overall height and instead you need to define a new DI from here 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 and make them equal to get those guys in the middle moving this dude to this getting this point here and this point here same thing guys I'm gonna leave this for you to flex too lazy to flex them you do that you know how to do it now come on beautiful and also you need probably uh, it's a, what it was it's annotation symbolic whatever the name okay so here here I'm gonna leave those guys for you to flex pretty sure they're gonna jump when you change that but basically that's it that's the that's what we want to model you know it's just a uh, two sides a uh, two hinged side window they're both operable and this dude here is an awning and uh, again uh, should have a two three actually fixed panel some people add just a letter F, F here shown on in the elevation as a text to indicate those guys are just fixed in 3d this is what we got so far and uh, I wish that you find guys this video useful thank you very much for uh, sharing and supporting me have a good day and bye bye